What's up guys, Boss here, and balance changes are finally live. So in today's video, I'm gonna be testing out two cards that got buffed in the balance changes. Obviously, there's a lot more, but I figured I would do first a video on the Dark Goblin and the Rascals because they just synergize so good in this log bait deck that was already, you know, kind of viable. I mean, it wasn't the best, but it's especially going to be stronger after these two cards got buffed. So I bet anyone using this deck is really happy to see Dark Goblin and Rascals buffed. Dark Goblin, of course, got a 9% damage buff, and the Rascals got a 9% hit speed buff. So, I mean, they might seem, you know, not like a huge buff, but let me tell you, some interactions are going to change, and if the Dark Goblin locks on the tower now, or same with the Rascal Girls, they're going to get a lot more damage over time, I can tell you that right now. So, I'm currently 8-0 in this Grand Challenge right now. We're going to try to make it to the 12 wins. Before we head into it, if you guys would like to support me, you can use my critter code BOSS in any Super Bowl game. Really do appreciate all the support from you guys. It does mean a lot, but with that being said... Let's try to get this 12 win here. I'm probably going to have to play a lot of these newly buffed cards in Grand Challenges, so I hope you guys are fine with that. Of course, I'll always make sure I start at, you know, 8 wins or 7 or whatever, so the gameplay is going to be obviously pretty good from the opponent still. Just because a lot of the, you know, new cards that are buffed, I obviously don't have them upgraded on ladder because I'm not fully maxed yet, and I've mostly been upgrading cards that are really good. And obviously, before these cards, you know, got the buff, they were not that great. So obviously, I'm not going to prioritize upgrading them on ladder um same with the executioner and the tombstone unfortunately i don't think i have them leveled up for ladder um but my next video i'm planning on doing splash yard testing out the ice wizard and the tombstone because splash yard is a deck that pairs well with both of those but anyway let's focus up here so this guy's using battle ram battle ram is actually another card that got a buff i think of all the cards that got a buff battle ram might be the one that maybe you won't, you won't notice as much of a difference because the battle ram you only notice the buff if it actually connects to something and honestly the battle ram in so many matchups like this one especially it's gonna have a hard time you know breaking through because i got the rascals i got the goblin gang i got the prince right all gonna be really really good counters to the the battle ram so it might not even connect so it's gonna be insignificant you know that damage buff potentially if we can defend it well every time so very aggressive bandit on his end. Prince is going to get loads of value here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and log the magic archer. Because what that's going to do is it's actually going to kill it. Because I logged it at the perfect time. And the princess will stay alive. Dark Goblin, they're going to take out the Ewiz. And then lock on top of the tower. And look at all that damage it got. I can guarantee you guys that Dark Goblin probably got an extra 100 damage. Because of the 9% damage buff. I mean, after all the shots it got. Maybe not 100, but you know, at least like... 50 or something it's i mean it's definitely noticeable as you can tell so he just used to zap so let's pressure here because he might have it you know he's probably gonna go ghost but he can't defend everything i mean he might try to fireball no he's gonna pretty much lose the entirety of his tower almost besides you know just 71 but we can go for a log finish it off here and uh there you go magic archer unfortunately is going to stay alive at uh one hp which is honestly quite unlucky and there you go the battle ram actually will connect so you see battle ram do a little bit more damage honestly nothing you know that you know significant i would say we're still in an all right spot as long as we don't throw here and even if he somehow some way takes my tower chances are we'll probably take his you know because look at how low it is and he just has no answer like he literally can't defend he has no answer to our so he's probably gonna go magic archer right we'll go goblin gang here try to predict it or whatever is he no doesn't drop it i guess yeah he gave up he knew it was over yeah pretty easy matchup i mean he got all the answers in the world for the pekka and the proof is the fact he didn't even play the pack i don't think he dropped a single pekka that game and he knew it would just get no value i mean i got the goblin gang i got the rascals i got the prince i just have everything i could possibly need let me double check and yeah sure enough he had pekka he just knew that it wasn't going to do anything in the matchup and yeah, I mean, just extremely easy. So, I mean, another reason to potentially use this deck, because last meta, maybe still this meta, so many people were using P.E.K.K.A. for whatever reason. P.E.K.K.A. with the Golden Knight, P.E.K.K.A. Ram Rider, even P.E.K.K.A. Battle Ram that he was using. So, this deck obviously going to do very, very good against people using P.E.K.K.A. So, we'll start with the Goblin Barrel here, obviously in the safe spot on the corner, in case he's got the Tornado. He's going to have the Ghost. So... Pekka again, potentially. I mean, because generally when you see Ghost, you think Bridge Spam. Could also be Mega I mean, we'll have to see. And I'm Bandit. <laughs> Alright, so maybe it's just going to be another exact... Alright, never mind. We got the Electro Spirit. Okay. 
So kind of a bad bandit there because the prince is going to charge into it and the Electro Spirit. I guess it was actually the bad Electro Spirit. That's the main thing because he played it too late. Rocket going to be free for us there. Just free value. And Dark Elden going to deal enough damage to that Ram Rider that I can just log it. And is this going to be our first... Look at how close that Ram Rider was to charging on my tower. I'm telling you guys, I think before the Dark Elden buff, that probably would have made it. I think the fact that Dark Goblin shot that a few times and it does 9% more damage each time, I don't know. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to completely analyze it, but I think, you know, I could be wrong. I think that Ram Rider could have gotten to the tower. So maybe that's a perfect, you know, example of an interaction that just changed. You know, it could in some situations save you barely, like, be you know, whereas before it wouldn't. Same with something like a balloon, I'd imagine, you know, it could take one less shot to take it out in some situations that could be insanely clutch and win you the game. So I'm bet, I bet you he's got a Mega Knight just based off of what he has, um, because usually, and oh my gosh, Dark Goblin, I mean, literally the Dark Goblin has practically won me this game and I'm not even joking. I mean, the Prince at the beginning and the Dark Goblin have been the MVPs of this game. So I'm going to go Goblin Barrel here just to, you know, maybe bait out a spell yeah, so he's going to go for Barbell. That's fine because now I can use my Dark Goblin and the Princess. I'm even, you know, fine letting the Ghost get a little bit of damage just because we're already in a pretty nice situation right now. We don't really need to worry too much. And yeah, he's got the Mega Knight. That's what I guessed because obviously when someone has the Archer Queen, it's more likely they got Mega Knight because Pekka is usually paired with the Golden Knight. So Rocket going to come in there, hit the Ram Rider and the Mega Knight, going to get really good value. And, you know, that showcases where you want to use the Rocket just in situations where it's otherwise going to be difficult for you to defend because it's kind of, like, awkward, right, to use, like, your Rascals or whatever on a Mega Knight sometimes because if it, like, jumps on top of it or whatever, or if he were to go for, like, a Ram or a uh, Bar Barrel, like, with his Ram Rider and the Ram Rider stun would help take out the, you know, so it just makes things easier. So he's actually going to do a little bit of a split lane push here. Kind of feels like desperation. We can actually just finish off the game here because Log and Rocket will do enough. Rocket does, you know, obviously well over 400. I think it does, I don't know the exact amount, but I knew it does at least like 420 or 430. So I was, I was, I didn't even bother checking. I pretty much have it memorized, but at the same time I don't because I couldn't tell you exactly what it did. I just knew it did enough. Um, actually... I should probably check in this next game so I don't, you know, assume it's enough and then throw the game at the end. But yeah, it looks like this one's taking all the fun. So I'll see you guys when I find the, hopefully the 11th win. Okay guys, in our next game here against Lewis. So kind of an interesting starting hand. I mean, we don't have a, I'd say the best starting play with log bait is either princess in the back or goblin barrel and because i don't have those in my starting hand i'm fine waiting a little bit we'll just cycle a log i think that's fine and we'll see what he wants to do from there if he's not going to do anything goblin gang at the bridge should be okay because it forces a response out of him and i have my rascals and prince in cycle so i could probably defend just about anything he counter pushes with okay golden knight's annoying because the dash kills rascal girls goblin gangs like pretty much everything so pretty much our only counter is the prince yep to the golden knight so that could be problematic if he out cycles our prince um but you know we'll try to focus on keeping our prince in cycle if we can and saving it only for that golden knight because unless he all right well that could be a problem um i'm gonna go for a goblin barrel here and a goblin gang and what that's actually gonna do is activate the king tower for six elixir only but but, 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 the problem is he was up Elixir when he played that Mega Knight, so he is going to get the Wall Breakers to connect. Overall, though, not bad, and kind of a pro tip there for you get, you know, those of you guys who didn't know. I mean, I think a lot of you guys do know that it's pretty easy to activate the King Tower off of the Mega Knight, but you see what I did there? You can pretty much play any kind of card, like any Swarm card, so it could be anything, right? I mean, you can do that also with guards. Well, you can play pretty much any card that dies to the Mega Knight quickly up here, and then down here, pretty much any kind of card that's like, that dies quickly. I guess that's the best way to put it. Both cards need to be kind of weak for it to work. You can also do it with the Dark Goblin too. Like play it there and then Goblin Gang down there. But yeah, it's pretty easy to do. Just practice it and, you know, the timing and yeah, you should be good to go. It's very useful when you're against Mega Knight. Because if I didn't do that, um, it 
would make this match significantly harder. I got that King Tower helping out. It's going to be very nice. And if I didn't do that either, like if I defended differently in that situation, it would have been hard to defend to begin with. Not only would it have not helped me like further in the match, it would have been hard to defend. I mean, I probably only defended that due to doing that. Um, and of course, you can also do that with a lot of different decks. I mean, you can do it with Skeletons and Ice Spirit. You can activate for only two Elixir, which is an even better trade. But when you're doing it using a deck like this, you got to spend a little bit more, but it still gets the job done. Kind of talked a while about that, but I just wanted to stress how important I think it is to get your King Tower activated against the Mega Knight when you when you can. I think it's it's definitely worth it. Something to take advantage of. So we'll log the Musketeer here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we're in a great spot right now. It doesn't seem like he's got a good spell for really anything we have. So we just need to, you know, play it calm. There's no need to rush things, and, uh, you know, we should be fine. Wallbreakers may connect. I'm not sure. No, it looks like they don't. We're good. Um, he's probably going to go for a Mega Knight on top of that. But the Prince is still going to charge into it. So it's going to pretty much take out, like, half of the Mega Knight. And look at that Dark Goblin there on the right lane just getting so much damage. And, yeah. I think we're going to win this because he, like I said, he just doesn't have any good answers to the barrel. I'm actually going to go in here because he just uses Mega Knight and I think he's in a bit of trouble. Prince is coming in too. Princess, you know, is annoying. It's going to help take out the minions. Annoying for him, not for me, obviously. We can just Goblin Gang here in the middle. And uh, yeah, we're we're uh, we're completely fine. We're looking really good here. Going in a triple elixir. He's going to Mega Knight in the back. I, I'm almost tempted to just rocket his tower twice. I'm not going to, but I'm very, I was very tempted to, but I don't want to just get overwhelmed. I think it's better to wait until triple to cycle two rockets. And besides, I, you know, I think we could probably just play this safe. You know, there's no need to rush things. And I just realized that I could have actually just logged and played a rocket on his tower and we would have won right there. But um, I wanted to be safe and played on defense. So let's just relax here. We just got a rocket and let me check how much a rocket does. Okay, four. See, I knew it. Remember that game before where I didn't even check and I knew it. Like, I knew it did at least 430 or something like that. But that's good to know. So it does 446. I'll try to remember that. Kind of an odd number, not easy to remember. But, well, it's an even number because it ends with a six. But, I mean, odd as in, you know what I mean. Anyway, we're 11 and 0 right now. So maybe we get the clean 12 and 0 here. That would be, you know, really cool. I mean,. 12 and 0, definitely not easy. For me, I get 12 wins pretty often. I mean, I notice after the update they've been easier. Maybe I can win them like 70, 80% of the time. But 12 and 0, I, I probably, when I win a grand challenge, the how often it's a 12 and 0 is probably less than like 40 or 30% of the time. So definitely not, definitely not easy. So he's gonna go giant skeleton and uh Giant Skeleton, not something I see a whole lot of, so I'm honestly really stumped what this is. Usually I can tell what they're using after just one or two cards, but that's not something I see a lot of. So we'll just log here, and I guess I'll cycle my Dark Goblin. Okay, he's got... Alright, well, that's annoying. That's not... I don't really like seeing that, but... Go Rascals here, and... <laughs> I don't know what that scream was but the golden knight scares me sometimes let's just put it that way that was scary but yeah that that screech was a bit unnecessary there i would say so tombstone obviously got a buff too gonna be making a video on that i forgot if i mentioned this at the beginning most likely gonna be using graveyard with ice wizard and tombstone Testing out, you know, those two buffed cards in a deck that has good synergy with both of them. And, uh, yeah, I mean, doesn't really get much value for him in this specific matchup, I don't think. Just because, um, it seems like... I hope those Rascal... Ah, uh, it doesn't even matter. The Golden Knight's gonna just, you know, destroy everything anyway. So it doesn't really matter regardless. Uh, okay, so he did have to go Zappies. Yeah, I was gonna say, because the Prince would have connected either way. I, did, I forget how he dealt... How did he deal that much damage to my right tower? I don't even remember what happened. Uh, what's his win condition? I forget what even did that. Okay, so he just let that lock on. Huge mistake coming out from him there. I mean, the Dark Goblin, I don't know if you guys have noticed, it's been kind of the MVP of, like, every single game. 
Like, literally, I've gotten the Dark Album to connect, I think, almost every single game, maybe even every single game of this video. And it's dealt a lot of damage. And, I mean, look at it against the Grave there. I mean, that's not because of the buff. I mean, it would do that anyway. But, like, maybe Dark Album was a little bit underrated. I mean, I don't know. I know some people have done, like, underrated, overrated videos, and some included Dark Album in there. And, I mean, maybe it just was a little underrated. I don't know, because, I mean... I think after the buff now, it's like even better, right? But maybe before it wasn't that bad. Um, anyway, we're going to go Rascals here in front. I guess I'm just going to log to take out the Tombstone. Hopefully, I didn't do it too early. No, we got it. We're fine. Uh, I was going to maybe go for a uh, Goblin Barrel, and honestly, I probably should have, but I didn't want to be too aggressive. But I think it would have been the right play because, and yeah, the Golden Knight is kind of ridiculous. He literally, this, okay, this is dumb. I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of mad now. This is actually ridiculous. Like, how you can win the game because of one Golden Knight is ridiculous, man. Like, that's all I gotta say. Like, the Golden Knight so many times can be significantly harder to defend than the Queen. Like, the, like, the Queen, at least it's predictable where the heck it's actually gonna go and what it's gonna do. You know it's gonna deal, like, 10,000 damage in, like, two seconds. But the Golden Knight can go like everywhere can bounce back and forth like 15 times across the board and just screw you over like what already happened like i just you know it's ridiculous i i don't know i mean maybe we could still win this but i, I you know that, that 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 annoyed me that annoyed me that's all i gotta say that that kind of made me mad um rocket gonna come in here just because i need the damage and we're hitting the zappies anyway so it's great value we're gonna try to space everything out here and he's probably gonna go golden knight and you know try to can we get can we Okay, good. It doesn't charge in any it. That is really, really good. So, Princess is actually on the other side there. I don't know if he's paying attention to that. We gotta go High Goblin Gang so that Golden Knight stays away from the tower. Away from the tower. Alright, 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 alright. So, Dark Goblin low again so he can't freeze everything. Spacing everything out like so. He's gonna go for a freeze attempted anyway. I'm gonna go for Gun Barrel here. He's gonna go for the Golden Knight. Can we get the Prince down in time? Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. You gotta be... He won the game because of one card, the Golden Knight. I I mean, I'm not that upset because I know I'm still going to get the 12 win anyway. Like, there's no chance I lose two games in a row here. But I I can't believe it. He, I mean, I'm, I'm not actually obviously like too mad. I'm over-exaggerating a little bit. Got to do it for the content. But uh, I, I'm surprised to say the least. He won the game because of... Because, like, one Golden Knight, like, just basically on a few different, like, and I couldn't do anything about it. That's the thing, too. Like, what am I supposed to do? Rocket it? You know? I don't think so. Anyway, I'll see you guys when I find, hopefully, the last game, because it's taken a lot of fun. I, you know, like, that's just ridiculous. Like, that's all I gotta say. I, I just can't believe the Golden Knight is that broken that you literally can win a, like, win a game because of it. You know? It's just, I don't know. That's just... It's annoying. I mean, I guess that's how the queen was too when people were learning how to counter it. But it's just, that's why the Golden Knight, in my opinion, is the best champion in the game. Like, it's good in every single matchup. It doesn't matter what spell your opponent has. The queen, if, you know, if you got lightning or rocket, it's not that bad, right? But not with the Golden Knight, man. That's all I got to say. Okay, good log there. This guy kind of messed up. Um, all right, he kind of messed up again. So we kind of capitalized there off of his mistake. I'll take it. 2.6. I mean, definitely not an easy matchup. So... Honestly, I'll take any of the mistakes he gives me. The reason why I say it's not an easy matchup is because if we're being honest here, he's got a fast cycle and log, and, you know, that's pretty good against this deck. So I go for a little bit of a juke there. Unfortunately, he played Skeleton, so we're not going to get damage anyway. His log is out of rotation, though, so that's something to keep in mind. You know, so if he goes in for a hog, I can, of course, go Dark Goblin and Goblin Gang, and there's not really anything he can do about it unless he wants to Fireball, of course, which would kind of be an overcommitment. So I guess here we're going to go for a high Dark Goblin, because he won't be able to Fireball in time and react to... Yeah, that was kind of awkward. I guess I should have played it a little higher. But yeah, that was a little awkward, because I literally said it, and then the exact opposite happened. Yeah, that was... Uh awkward it's fine though uh all right let's see what he does he's gonna go cannon i mean you know i'm fine with that that's a pretty 
big amount of elixir he spent there. I mean, he went with skeletons as well, so... Yeah, I mean, this is gonna be annoying. I, I think really the only way we can win this is by... him making mistakes, because... Like, you know, we can't really do anything. I mean, like, we, we really can't. It's a pretty fat counter. Um, I don't feel like I'm over-exaggerating. It's, it's a... It's a pretty trash matchup, because... He's got a fast cycle. I don't have any good answer to the hog. It's probably like 90-10. It's, it's nearly impossible. Um, and you can just see that here from, you know, how much we're losing by. Uh, yeah, and you know, it's, it's pretty much impossible. So we'll try to, like, wipe this game from our mind, like, if we lose. Because I just don't see how we're supposed to win it. We'll rock at the hog. I mean, I have to. It's literally my only counter. I mean, what choice do I have? And who knows, maybe this guy chokes. Uh, I don't know how many 12 wins this guy has. If he doesn't have a lot, maybe the pressure will get to him and he'll mess up. But, I mean, judging by how he's playing, considering he's playing decently, um, I'm just assuming that he's probably already got a 12 win by now, so I don't think we got that going for us either. How we go for a rocket here on top of the hog? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really think there's really anything we can do. I, I hate to say it, there's... Some matchups that are just nearly impossible, and this is one of them. But the other thing you guys don't got to worry about is 2.6 isn't really that good in the meta, so not that many people are playing it. He's going to go in here, maybe a little too aggressive. Did he get a little bit too, you know, a little too aggressive there? I don't know. I mean, probably not because it's easy defense for him. He just logs that, and then he's going to go skeletons, and then he fireballs the goblin barrel, just la da 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 da. Really, really easy. I mean, kind of basic defense nothing special you know just a hard counter right um goblin gang here he's gonna go moss probably just ignore the moss to try to capitalize off of an elixir advantage but i don't even think that really matters either he's gonna pressure the opposite lane too so that's not good we'll try to juke the you know the thing so then he misses the fireball he doesn't fall for it but yeah super hard counter nothing we can do um, he played decent though, but yeah, that's such a bad matchup. I'm, you know, kind of unfortunate. Really do makes me wish we won the first game, because now we're in a situation we don't want to be in. We have two losses. Um, I'm still confident we'll get the 12, because, I mean, this was just a hard counter. I can't really expect myself to win this if he plays decently. But yeah, really brutal, really brutal. Um... And I can't even say there's much outplay potential either, because his cycle is just so so fast i mean mine's 3.8 his is 2.6 i mean what am i gonna do like even if he makes a mistake it'll already get back to the card he needs you know in the situation but final game no matter what i didn't want to be in this situation um but i've been in the situation plenty of times so i'm confident i can still get the 12 if we get a good matchup or one that's at least not horrible like that last one and i'll see you guys when i find the final match <sighs> okay here we go guys hopefully we can get it hopefully we can get it be kind of disappointing if we don't he's gonna laugh we'll give him the good luck all right let's see what he's using here so we could start with a uh goblin gang at the bridge pretty safe we'll see what he wants to do in response go barbell all right barbell is kind of not a bad sign i'd prefer them to have barbell over log log is definitely you know the best spell against this deck without a doubt so you have a cage kind of a bad cage because you see the it, it didn't the tower wasn't helping out so he's gonna take you know over 500 damage from that and he's got the golden knight i already have nightmares of that card from the time i lost to it but you know that in that graveyard game that would have been 12 and 0 so it's kind of that's kind of annoying to see but we'll try to uh win it this time around and go goblin gang here so what i'm wondering like here's what i don't know i don't know if this guy has graveyard or what like i'm a little confused i thought it was recruits hogs at first when i saw the bar barrel and the cage but this might actually be graveyard because of the oh electro giant yeah that makes sense too um in my opinion that was kind of a bad electro giant because he he also doesn't have a bar barrel in cycles, so I think he might have just messed up because... I mean, he got back to it after... 
I mean, that's the annoying thing about him having skeletons, it cycles fast, so yeah, he wasn't back to it when I dropped it, but then literally after one elixir, he's back to it. But okay, I mean, good start, I can't complain with this start, and really, I'm telling you guys, the only way I see this guy winning it is because of getting lucky with the Golden Knight. Like, I feel like there's no way I'm gonna lose this you know, if I don't get screwed over by a Golden Knight. Like, I, I'm I'm very confident. Because, like, I have Prince, you know, which is really good against E-Giant. Like, honestly, it's really good against it. Especially when you get... Alright, he's back to Bar Barrel. We gotta start playing it on the side. So he hopefully misses one. I should have been doing that from the start. But it's okay. Better to do it now than never, right? Go for a Rocket here on top of that. I'm gonna go Dark Goblin here. And that was... Kind of a bad tornado because it didn't even pull the princess into the circle properly we'll go to for that on the right there and this is what we'd like to see guys so the princess is also going to get a splash so all right this is it this is it we got it we got to go prince here just on this and i gotta wait for him to go for the dash before i drop my rascals if he doesn't do it then i'm not going to drop them at all because they're just going to die to the dash and it looks like we're fine so rocket and log take the tower but i have to use my log here on defense but it's fine we can just be patient and that e-giant still got a ton of damage even though it was so low on health but you guys know that's how e-giant is but luckily we're not going to get screwed over this time we can go for our goblin barrel and he's going to miss it and we don't even have to get to a log he is laughing i'm gonna laugh too because you know what i'm a little bit that was stressful that i lost two times i wasn't even sure if i'd get the 12 so let out a little laughter ourselves out of you know excitement got the 12 win all right so that is gonna be it for the video uh let me know what you guys think the buffed dark goblin and the rascals definitely going to be a little bit better i don't know you know how much of a difference they actually made in the games i think primarily this is my first champion i've gotten from a grand challenge just let's go i've won i think like 30 grand challenges at least 20 after the update and i've gotten no champions this is the first one i've gotten out of a grand challenge chest when i say no champions out of a grand challenge chest i mean that means you probably have less than a five percent chance of getting one and we just got it let's go guys all right so let's go well that's very lucky i wasn't even sure if i'd get the 12 and we get a champion let's go so yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. Uh, you know, deck is on the top right there. Can't show it. I think I'd have to enter Grand Challenge again, which I don't want to do right now. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Make sure to like if you guys did enjoy it. Let me know what decks you guys want me to test out with some of the more deck, you know, buff cards. I'm gonna be testing out all of the buffed cards. Don't worry. For sure, the Tombstone. For sure, the Ice Wizard. That'll probably be my next video testing Splash Yard out in a Grand Challenge, going for 12 wins because I don't have them leveled up. I don't think. And then maybe Executioner, maybe Hog X NATO Viper's deck if you guys know. But yeah, that's gonna be it. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Like it if you enjoyed it too. Almost at 100,000 subs. Thanks again. Until next time, guys.